G'day guys, um, just back on the road again today, the uh, 14th of February and uh, 2005 Volvo B12B 51 seater, go bus today. Um, this is a Kiwi coach built uh, body work on this bus, um, as opposed to the uh, coach design I've been driving lately. So this is built in Palmerston North, New Zealand, obviously with the um, Volvo chassis, but it's Kiwi coach builders bodywork on this one but uh, we'll, we're just going to be heading out to uh, Port Chalmers and doing a transfer off the cruise ship so I'll talk to you guys a bit later. Me again guys I thought just before we go I'd better show you the interior of the bus. It's a nice tidy coach this one. Uh, quite different layout than the um, Australian built Volvos. It's a nice simple dash layout. Volvo, Volvo uh, I shift gearbox. But, uh, all right, I'll sign off for now and talk to you soon. Hey guys, I'm just out here at Boiler Point. You may have heard me mention this place a few times in my previous uh, videos, but uh, this is where we have a, when we have a cruise ship in Port Chalmers in Dunedin and the guests have booked a wildlife cruise on the Monarch boat, a smaller vessel. Uh, we have a special pickup point here um, at uh, Boiler Point at Carries Bay. Um, so that's uh, what Boiler Point is, a pickup point for um, passengers and crew um, off the Monarch wildlife cruise boat, who we then take to and from the main wharf to uh, link with their cruise boat. But uh, I'm just waiting for um, some passengers here now. So uh, we've just made our way obviously out here to Port Chalmers. Nice drive out. Uh, the uh, bus goes well. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you guys again soon. Cheers. How are we going guys? Just out here at the wharf. We've got two cruise ships in Port Chalmers today. The Europa, we're picking up a couple of passengers off there. And Princess Cruises a little bit further over there on the other wharf but our passengers are off the Europa so we're right on the wharf today as we have uh, bookings um, directly off the cruise ship itself so we come right on the jetty so I'm uh, just waiting patiently for these guys to come off and then uh, we'll carry on okay guys just back at the yard at uh, go bus here heading back out to port to pick up the uh, passengers again, just have been off for a few hours in the sister coach of the one I was in earlier, 3546 I was in earlier, I'm now 3545 um, but this is also a 2005 Volvo B12B built by Kiwi Bus Builders and just a wee correction from earlier on uh, Kiwi Bus Builders is based in Tauron, not Palmerston North so that was my mistake and if we look at the engine bay cover here, we've got the wee Kiwis. So yeah, most of the tour coaches around this area are either built by, by Kiwi bus builders in Tauranga, New Zealand, or coach design in Brisbane, some of the other coaches I've shown you. But uh, these are the New Zealand built ones. But they go pretty well. So, yeah. The engine, they're about 420 horsepower, these ones. But uh, I'm going to head back out to Port Chalmers. We'll probably get some footage on the way back in later of the drive back in. So, bye for now. Hey guys, Nick again here. Um, back at uh, Boiler Point to pick up the people off the Monarch Wildlife Cruise. Um, so, we've made our way back out to Port Chalmers. And um, I've talked about this Monarch cruise quite a bit over the last few weeks. I'm never actually showing you the boat. So I'm going to try and get some footage um, of the vessel coming back in shortly. Um, then it's just going to be a short drive round to the cruise ship. Um, that'll be departing to Needham tonight. Drop the passengers off on the wharf. Uh, then I'll be heading back empty to town. So um, I'll head out to the jetty here and we'll see if we can see that boat coming in. Okay guys, finally we actually get to see the Monarch boat coming in. 
from its cruise. So quite cold and windy down here in Dunedin today, but there's actually good conditions for um, viewing wildlife, including the, the Royal Albatross. So that's a bit chilly for the passengers, it does make for better viewing. So it's just going to be berthing up shortly. We've got the pilot boats here as well. So the local um, harbour, Dunedin based harbour pilot, they guide the big cruise ships, container ships and logging ships into Port Chalmers. Their local expertise. So they just got the boat coming in now. Okay, folks, job done. We'll take over the uh, take off the fluoro vest because I've been on the wharf and uh, just heading back into town empty. So I'll let you guys join me for the drive back to Dunedin.
right team, we're just um, coming back into town, it is Friday night, so there might be a bit of traffic on the road, but should be back at the yard shortly. Now with the way the camera's sitting there, you should be able to get a view out to our right hand side there. Of uh, Forsyth Bar Stadium. Uh, this was completed in 2011, revolutionary with its plain surface, a mixture of uh, natural grass and uh, man-made materials. Makes for an ex excellent uh, sports field. And uh, it's roofed, but it still gets a lot of sun. So it's almost like the glass house effect. Um, so this is home to the Highlanders professional rugby union team that play in the Super Rugby competition. Home to the Otago rugby team. The All Blacks play there from time to time. And uh, we have had a number of uh, rock concerts there. It's a great venue uh, just last week. Well, earlier this week actually, Queen played there. And uh, last week, Elton John. So it uh, really is a great venue for Dunedin. See this red brick building out here, Dunedin Central Fire Station, uh, built in 1931. This is just a side view of uh, the fire station. In, in yesterday's video I made, uh, you'll, you'll get a view of the front um, main entrance of the fire station, but lovely building.
guys, I'm almost back at the yard. I'm back on the road again tomorrow, so I'll try and get some more footage for you then. But I hope you enjoyed some of the uh, videos today that, we've, that I've showed you. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you do enjoy the videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Yard here, transport place. And uh, enjoyed the day actually. I, even though this is an older model Volvo, I just love driving Volvo buses. Having driven uh, MANs, MAN buses, Scania's, Mercedes, Mitsubishi's many others over the last 20 odd years um, I still really love the Volvos I'll catch you guys next time